So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a website in under five minutes. Now, my name is John Cristani. I'm an internet entrepreneur. I've been doing this for years, but I'm going to show you how you can as well. Now, check this out. We're going to be going over a few things here. I'm going to show you how to register a domain. I'm going to show you how you can get a free website so you can get started. I'm going to show you how to choose the look of your website. And I'm also going to show you how to edit the content and put up some of your own content in under five minutes. And after that five minutes, I'm going to go over some advanced money techniques to start making money. So let's get this started. I'm going to show you right here. Let's get into it right here on my computer. Let's go. So building website under five minutes, I'm going to show you how to register the domain, choose the look, edit the content. Let's do this. So first off, you have to get a website domain. Now, if you use one of my top three recommended hosting providers, the link will be the first link in my description. Okay. So go down there. You will get a free website, but you have to pay for the hosting. Use my recommended hosting provider right here. Now, as you see, it's actually $2.95 a month, but you get a free domain. So usually you have to pay something like 10 to 25 bucks to register a website, just like bluehost.com right here. But in this case, you'll get it for free and you're getting very cheap hosting, $2.95. Now, what you want to do is just sign up for the basic plan right here. Then we will come over to this page. We're going fast. We have to do this under five minutes. You want to select your domain name. Now it doesn't really matter what it is. You can type in random stuff because nobody really looks at domain names anymore. And you can check to see if your domain's available. I love hedgehogs. Do you? And you could click next, see if it's still available. So once you see that your domain's available, you want to sign up, fill out all this information. Again, you're registering domain. You have to fill out information for them to see your domain. Now I suggest you register for the cheapest plan, which is the two ninety five for 36 months. You get your primary domain registration for free. I also suggest you sign up for the domain privacy plus protection. Otherwise you're going to get a lot of spam emails. You're going to get a lot of spam calls. Trust me, you don't want this information out there. I would just keep that checked. Everything else I would just leave unchecked. You don't need any of that other stuff. Just the privacy and the cheapest plan. Then you need to enter in your credit card information to set up your website and you click submit right there. Now, after you sign up for a website, congratulations, you now have a website. Well, you have a domain. To put the website on it, we need to set it up. Go into Bluehost. It'll look something like this. Now, you'll want to scroll down and you'll want to go to where it says My Sites right there. And you'll click that and it'll be blank. You have no sites. It'll say you don't have any sites. You'll want to click this button right over here that says Create Site right there there. Now I suggest you use WordPress. It's been around for 10 or 20 or 30, 50 years. I don't know how long, but it's been around forever. This is what everybody uses. This is what has the most support. I have no idea what this new company is, but just forget about that and use WordPress right there. And there's over 10,000 themes. Now the site name will just be my weight loss blog and maybe lose wait and drink. So there's our website, create our new WordPress website, then we'll click next. Now, after you click next, you'll get to select whatever websites you've registered. So if it was, I love guinea pigs or I love hedgehogs, it'll be there. In my case, I registered a site called learnit.com. You don't need to select any of these. You can select all of them. They're free though. They won't cost you any money forever. You don't have to worry about any future charges from the free plugins. You can select them or not select them. It doesn't matter. Now, after you fill that out, you'll get your information. The information will be emailed to you. You'll have your password, your username to log into your site. Again, all of the details will be in your email. But what you want to do now is save this information here. And then you want to click this button, which is log into WordPress. After you log into WordPress, you want to go over to the area that says appearance and then themes. See right here. So there's a button with a paintbrush that says appearance. And then there's themes. Click right there. In this area, you can choose your theme. Now spend as much time as you like, but there's lots of different themes here. Generally speaking, there's one, two, or three column themes. You can have two thirds and one third, one third and two thirds. There's two columns and two thirds and one third, whatever you like. Now I'm going to use 2017 because that looks, looks pretty. 
Now, if you want, you can customize your theme and you can just click here and you can click customize. Again, there's over 10,000 themes you can search from. Take your time, have fun, figure out how you want your site to look. Now, once we've logged into WordPress, we wanna actually choose the look of our site. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to where it says appearance. We're gonna click that and then we're gonna mouse over themes and we're gonna select that right there. Now, once you're in here, you have over 10,000 themes to search from and there's different ways that you can search for themes. You can just scroll down. You can search by a color maybe. Now there's over 10,000 themes here and in order to find more themes than the ones that are preloaded, you can just go click this button right here which says wordpress.org themes. This is where most of the free themes are. You can type in filter here, type in feature filter and you could say, okay, I want it to just be one column and I want it to be a blog or maybe you want it for e-commerce. Then you can just say apply filters. Here you go, here's some fun. Let's preview this one. Maybe we want our site to look like this. We want it to be kind of fun and we can put an image here, do all sorts of stuff. And we put our blog posts and they show up every day here. Or maybe we want our site to look like this. We want it to be more of a gallery. We can preview this site right here. It's kind of like a gallery of different images or links. There's a number of different ways you can do things. If you're a photographer, you could find something that's more photo friendly for whatever you're doing. Doesn't matter. We have, we're on a schedule here. We're staying with the standard theme here. Edit, welcome to Museum of modern art. Now, let's say you wanted to add a blog post. You want to do your first blog post. In order to add that, you would actually go up here to where it says posts and would click right there and you would click add new post right there. Now, by default, every website has a post called hello world. It's kind of like an inside joke, I guess. Here we just add our title and we'd say how I lost weight drinking beer. Then, you know, I'd say here's how and here are my recommended beers. Let's say that's our blog. And in order to create a link here, we would just highlight this. We click that little link icon and we'd say, you know, whatever our site is, maybe we're advertising an affiliate link, whatever it is. And boom, there we have a page. And then all I would do is click publish right up here. Click publish. Now we have our post. And the last thing you need to do to activate your site is you need to come up here to where it says blue post home. I clicked right there. Click this button that says launch your site right there or else nobody will be able to see it. And once we have clicked this link, folks, we are now live. Woo! I hope you enjoyed that video. I think it was under five minutes. Registered a domain. We chose the look created some content, we created a blog post in under five minutes or something like that, I don't know.